you think? All right, all right, what's happening guys? It is almost six o'clock. I am making 6 p.m. Making a quick run from work to go grab some food. Probably just gonna go get some Wendy's. They got a really uh, good salad that I like. It's the apple pecan, or harvest, what is it called? Harvest apple salad or something. It's got apples and pecans and I don't know what else. Some sort of like a vinaigrette in it. Um, yeah, I'm making some good progress today. Um, over my lunch break, I worked on the uh, media from the, um, what's it called, the uh, Hawaii trip. So I started going through and digging a little bit through the uh, video footage for, for, the, uh, for each day from Hawaii. So I'm going to do it pretty much the same way that I did the videos from my California trip in 2018. Um, that was a trip that Rochelle and I took the boys on and I got some really nice footage that trip. But um, so what I did was while I was on vacation I shot some static um, video of like some of the beaches and the water and stuff basically just held my camera still and recorded some footage of the waves crashing and coming in and all that and uh, so I took some of those clips and uh, I was able to do like maybe like six different um, intro clips and then I did uh, use the same footage twice over the course of two days in the California trip I used the same intro video for all of them so it was just the view from our balcony in California that day but um, for the Hawaii trip I used some footage of uh, Kipu Kai I used some footage of uh, the Rock Quarry Beach I used some footage of uh, from our balcony and I'm trying to think what else I used footage from but uh, it turned out pretty nice. So I generated daily intro videos and all it says is uh, Hawaii Island of Kauai 2019 and then it says like day one and what we did for the major outings or uh, adventures each day. And then uh, that'll be the intro and then it'll roll into the footage for that day. Um, I want to also work on some outro cards or something. So I'm thinking like maybe like a static image and then um, like an HDR image or something along those lines. And then I will maybe put something Hawaiian on in text on that outro page. So maybe like a Hawaiian word and then the definition or um, something. I don't know, you know, there's all kinds of different uh, cool terms and terminology and stuff like that. So um, that's my thought. I'm gonna work on those next. I like to have the intro and outro uh, clips done because then once they're done then I can just do my daily vlog um, setup where I literally just grab all the clips string them together and then um, kind of cull and, and uh, trim it from there um, some of the clips have a lot of wind noise because we're outside and stuff so I'll probably kill the audio for those clips and then just um, set it so uh, to music or something like that so um, yeah it should be pretty good Pretty excited about it um, I just want to get this done and then I don't have to like worry about it you know I kind of um, stress out about it or focus on it and then uh, I just want to tackle and get it over because after the vacation I've had daily vlogs so there's more footage after that so I gotta kind of get to it and do it all get it completed um, yeah so that's it stay tuned for more Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday morning, April 24, 2019. And I just dropped Grant off to his mom's house. And, oh man. So, <laughs> when I got him Sunday night, Easter night, she gave me a piece of paper through and from his school that said he had an event today, Wednesday, at about 9, 10, 9, 20 a.m. So uh, she told me she signed me up for it just because they had to have a list of at attendees and she said, you know, if you can't make it, not a big deal, but um, she put me down. Um, today I have some server maintenance that starts at like 7 p.m. 
So I worked it out with my boss that I could go to this thing at Grant School this morning and then um, <clears throat> and then uh, uh, what was I going to say? And then work late. So I'll probably be working from like 11 to 8 p.m. or 11.30 or 12 to 8 or 9 p.m. something like that. Um, so, having said that, I um, just dropped Grant off to his mom, and I mentioned, I said, oh, hey, I'll see you in like two hours, and she's like, what? What's today? I'm like, he has that school event that you told me about, and she's like, oh, I'm glad you said something. I totally forgot. She's like, that's today? I'm like, yeah, uh, yes, yes, it is. So, um, I dropped him off. He's going to get dressed or bring his, um, I guess, his karate or uniform or whatever it's called and um, he'll be riding the bus into school today and then I'm going to um, go back home now for a little over an hour about an hour yeah maybe about an hour hour and a half um, and then meet him at a school so I gotta be at a school at 9 10 it's about 7 30 now um, so I don't even know what exactly he's doing, but uh, I'm going to find out here and see what they say. Um, the uh, <clears throat> tired, I was up last night at about 1 a.m. and I got back to sleep right around about three. So last night I kicked off the rest of the daily vlogs up to the um, vacation so like something like 4 6 to 4 12 that's Thursday actually 4 11 um, I connected up my new external hard drive and set up a cron, cron job or like a uh, like an automated scheduled task to uh, back up the new external so my NAS um, IDs each external hard drive that's plugged into it uniquely so my I can't just say back up any external plugged in it, it does it per drive so um, <clears throat> because I got a new drive drive I got to set up an all-new schedule or all-new task or whatever so that's what I worked on uh, last night and then I kicked it off so I started it, uh, started that backup job, and it's actually still running. So I'm hoping it finishes in the next hour or so, so I can take that drive with me and um, <clears throat> get some work done here. Um, I still got a few outstanding items. So I did get a quote yesterday to get my mirror fixed. This, this particular mirror, um, it's just over 500 bucks. So I'm guessing the guy's gonna want to pay for it out of pocket because typically. Um, an insurance deductible is five hundred or a thousand dollars, and then if you make a claim, the uh, price goes up, or your like insurance rates or whatever go up. So, um, what else? Uh, so I got a, I got a, I got a quote yesterday, but I'm gonna message him and ask him if I can just email it or forward it to him or something. Um, <clears throat> and then. Uh, I got to finish those photos for the paid gig that I have, and then I have, what else do I have? I'm trying to think, oh then I gotta just go through all the video footage from Hawaii. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to finish all of that. It might take a take a little bit of time, but yeah, my process is pretty damn well streamlined. But I did shoot a boatload of uh, footage, so <clears throat> we're gonna kind of have to see how that goes. If anything, I can just kind of call that down. And um, what I want to do, at least initially, is just do like a like a like a render for my vlogs, and then from there I can do something uh, nicer or whatever but uh, I did finish going through all of the photos I think that was yesterday I was done with that and I actually put all of my keeper um, 
edited um, two copies, full resolution and web quality images into one folder, broken up into each day, each camera, um, all that stuff. And it was just under 40 gigabytes. And that was just all of the photos. So I think there's somewhere around 2,300 images. So it's a lot of files, a lot of photos, a lot of good stuff in there. Um, 2,300 images and the little nice photo album that I bought for Hawaii only holds like 40. So <clears throat> not quite sure what I'm going to do yet for that. I'm going to have to maybe draw like a little like diagram or something per day and write down each thing that we did each day and then see maybe I can do like two photos for each thing that we did. I, I don't know. I got to kind of do it that way I suppose and then I don't know not sure how I'm gonna do that yet um, my friend Jess Jessica her mom's in the hospital she went in yesterday in an ambulance I guess uh, she's not doing so well she has some sort of an infection and uh, the ambulance had to take her in from the house and stuff so my heart goes out to her and her family <clears throat> I've known her well I've known them her and her mom and family since uh, grade school. So that's how long I've known Jess. And uh, yeah, so I just, I hope her mom can pull through this. Uh, today's Wednesday, like I said, I'm working late. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what the plans are. I was gonna be hanging out with Nikki, but she's still sick, man. It's, it's Wednesday. She's taking off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from work. And uh, she said she's still just not even up to uh, up to speed yet. She's not not quite feeling all there to, to be able to manage 30 kids or whatever she's got. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, Friday, um, I get Grant back. This house is for sale here. They're uh, putting on a new roof. It's a good day to do that. But so just a lot of stuff going on, but nothing super, um, you know, cool or whatever, I guess. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more. All right, so I just, um, I'm headed to Grant School right now. I was able to help my dad with a few errands and stuff before um, I had to leave the house. We ran to Menards and got some stuff done. Picked up a few things around the house and all that. Um, so I'm headed to Grant's thing. It's uh, going to start in about 20 minutes. I got to be there in, within 10 minutes to check in and all that. And it's some sort of a writer's project or something. So um, he wrote a story or a book that's called When I Grow Up. So I'm guessing it's going to consist of a bunch of different things for um, like, uh, like he wrote on there what he wants to be when he grows up. He wants to be a karate teacher. So um, yeah. We'll see, uh, see how this goes, so. Start off for them to make these books. It took a very long time. There was a lot of um, planning and brainstorming. They did a lot of research. Um, so they were able to watch different videos on their jobs. Um, we used a search engine called PebbleGo, which is where they're able to read about it, find facts. They pulled those facts off of the internet. They filled out a um, graphic organizer after that. They did a nice rough draft, they went back, they edited, they revised, and then they came up with these. So they have gone through, um, made their title pages a few times, they've made their illustrations a few times because we were working on being authors and illustrators and know that that takes a long time, it's a long process, so they should be very proud of them. I am very proud of them, they did a fantastic job. Um, I did make a PowerPoint, so they will not be showing their pictures. Um, but you will be able to see their pictures on the PowerPoint as well as their writing. I typed up uh, in the best spell. Mine is my spelling. Theirs is their spelling. So in case you can't read it, it is up there. <laughs> um, and if you would like to sign up at the end, I will be uh, emailing the PowerPoint out if you would like it. Um, so that way you can have all of the books on a PowerPoint slide. So if you would like it, after we're done with our presentation, when you're mingling, I will leave out a notebook and you can write your email address down and I will send it out for you. Okay? So, this is all about when we grow up and what we want to be. So this is a little message from me. me. So dear first grade friends, I am so very proud of all of the hard work that you put into these books. 
You took this piece through the writing process and you did the best job that you can do. We did it. You are officially authors and illustrators. Great job and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish next. So we will be starting out with Miss Samantha. When I grow up, I want to be a drag teacher. Like I can teach people how to want to do my cry. For my job, I will teach kids how to work. I will need a kick pad to kick people to teach a uniform and mom skirt. My job is important because I can teach people to fight. That is why I want to be a bride. Seven years old. My favorite color is gold. And I not at school. I like to ride my bike. My favorite thing at school is school is math. All right, guys, so what do you think? Grant did a really good job. So it looks like they have six and seven-year-olds in his class. I would presume or guess that the six-year-olds will be turning seven soon. But uh, you can definitely see a big difference in the skill levels between the six-year-olds and the seven-year-olds, and then, of course, between the boys and the girls. But uh, Grant is seven. Um, his birthday is in October, so he's actually, um, like, old for his... Uh, age or for his uh, grade level I guess you could say so I'm a December birthday so I thought I was old um, for my grade level but he's still gonna be like two years or two months older um, for his grade than I would it was even so um, but he did a really good job he uh, didn't need any help some of the kids the teacher almost had to prompt them with everything that they needed to read and stuff um, yeah, so that was that was fun. It was really cute, and I don't know. They had somewhere around 20 students, and they each read their own story. It was really nice. So they're going to. Um, they had a like a she had like a PowerPoint presentation that she put up on the board for each kid with like a slide for each kid with what they had written. Um, so she's gonna send that out or email that out to all the teacher or all the parents and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's it. It's almost 10:30. It'll be what 11:30 or so. We'll say by the time I get to to work. And yeah, so I need to. Um, I'll be at work for probably at least about nine hours. I'm guessing. So I'm, I'm wondering if I should schedule like a massage or something like that and just uh, take like an hour break um, before that maintenance starts. So I might look into that, see if there's any openings or what the story is or that. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, never heard back from the garbage bell kid card guy. So once I basically politely told him, or firmly told him to kindly fuck off, he didn't say anything back to me. So, um, we'll see where it goes from there, but, uh, um, yeah, I don't have much else going on. So, time to boogie, crank some tunes, and get to work. Alright, so I'm headed into work, um, still, i got a little bit of a ways to drive here, but, uh, you know, I was, just, I was looking at Grant's mom, and I was just thinking, 
you know, how much different would both of our lives be had we not had to experience what we went through, her and I? Um, the year our divorce went through, we had about, let's say, like $3,000 in credit card debt. And we got almost the exact amount back from taxes that the credit cards were. And I think that was going to be one of our first times of being completely credit card debt free. My business was just taking off, my photography business. Um, and it was pretty good. Grant's mom was working a job, steady job finally. Uh, making, you know, what, thirty, forty thousand dollars So she was finally making money versus um, consuming money with being, having no job. Um, I spent probably twenty-five, maybe $30,000 on lawyer fees. I would presume she spent probably at least 20, 20, 25 grand in lawyer fees. And that's almost or pretty much where my last four years of my life have gone is because of that one incident or, or, or divorce, I guess you could say. So I think about that. You know, if, if I could have saved, let's say, 20, 25 grand from that, if she could have saved 20 grand we you know four years now have passed I'm making way more money than I had back then to the point where I don't need um, the photography business income grants expenses are much lower for daycare and stuff I just think about that I was just thinking about that today as I'm just looking at her I'm like you know I wouldn't have this new car. I would be driving probably her car that she has now, and um, she'd have a new car or something. But uh, her car has been paid off for a year or something like that now. And I, I just I think about that. So I was just like, you know, the housing market has since turned around. Um, my old house is worth more than we would have owed when you know, which was the whole reason we got foreclosed on wouldn't have wasted all the money and time and effort on the Audi situation and wouldn't have wasted all the money on a storage unit and storage costs for storing my muscle car life would have been insanely different interesting how that works you know grant for Easter he got a um, what's essentially a choose-your-own-adventure book it's for kids his age and all that type of stuff but it's the same concept where you read along you are faced with the decision you know if you decide option a go to this page if you decide option B go to a different page and, you know, it's, I always love those books. I've talked about those types of books as being my favorite books growing up and all that type of stuff. But, um, you know, it, it, obviously at the end of the day, you can't force someone to love you. You can't force someone to stay with you and all that sort of stuff, clearly. But uh, whatever was depressing her back then... You know, lack of money, lack of uh, self-worth, depression, um, weight issues. It all it takes is was was work. You know, since then now she gets to work from home, so she gets to make decent money. She gets to stay at home. She could have literally, we we her and I could have literally had zero daycare costs. She could, Grant could have just stayed with her all day every day. Now, because we're not together, I need daycare for my days, and 
she's got to foot that bill. So it's just, it's just, I, I was just looking at her today and I'm just like, you stupid son of a bitch. You know, like, it's completely dogged me. And, you know, as each year goes by, her and I get better financially, I, I, I would presume. But, you know, she's living, living like, almost like one step up from a trailer park existence right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I... Uh, all that money, all these years, just wasted. I spent and wasted so much money dating. I've talked about it on here before that I, I get to the point where I'm just like, fuck it, dude. I, I'll just lock down one person or, or go exclusive with one person because I don't want to have to like waste money dating because like, you know, I actually want to save money to get some goals accomplished. Otherwise, I just go out and date and do stuff, and it's so expensive. I've, I've talked about that so many times. It's just nuts. So, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's, there's days when I want to ask her, you know, are you happy? Are you happy with where you're at now? I think we were divorced in like October and she was remarried in like December. We had been separated for, I don't know, a while by then, a year or more. It's just tough. It's tough seeing seeing everyone move onward, upward, and forward, and being stuck, literally stuck in the mud. I feel like I'm finally to the point in life where I'm more over it, and I'm like right at the cusp of finally being able to like seriously let it go. But man, it's just just all that anxiety that I went through all that stress, all the turmoil with Grant. And even now, I still gotta deal with all the stuff of not being a team. It hurts. It hurts everything to my core and I'm just, just have to ask why. And this isn't me wanting to get back with her or anything like that. We've already, you know, she's already burned that bridge. It's, um, I, I don't know. That's why I'm just like a ship lost at sea. It just, just exhausts me having to think and worry about all this, you know, like the same aspect of, you know, locking down somebody exclusively so I don't have to date around and spend all this extra money. There's a, it's that type of level of comfort. You know, marriage gives yet another level of comfort because then you're a team. You know, right now it's, it's me. It's all me. Me against the world. It's not a good feeling. The world sucks. You know, and you have the talks with the girlfriends and all that, and they want to help, and they want to be a team, and they want to do this, and they want to do that, but they haven't, they haven't worked for it. They, they haven't designed their lives to 
be independent, let alone work towards a, a, a bigger goal. It's for them. It's just staying afloat, trying to you know make it to the next day or whatever. And I I don't understand. I don't I don't get that. We're too old. If they haven't learned it by now, what do you what do you do? What do you do for something like that? Kind of just want to have my own place. I just want to like I don't want to say do my own thing, but have my own thing. You know, I, I have some talks with Nikki about living arrangements and all this stuff. And she's like, oh, I want to sign up. I want to be on a lease or a loan or this and that. And I'm like, no. Absolutely not. And people seem to equate that with love or something or think that love has something to do with it sorry it, it, it's mutually exclusive you want me to commit to your financial poor financial planning when we're not we're not even married I mean, there's people that are married that don't even go on loans and leases together. So that's going to be an interesting thing with her is trying to get that through to her. Like she, she doesn't quite get that. And that's... Um, There's a lot of peace that comes with having your own stuff, your own house, your own cars, your own whatever. You can do your own thing. And I get that that's what she wants, but how bad does she, and not even just her, but others, like how bad do they actually want it? Because if you really, really wanted it that bad, you would either have it already or be damn closer than me that's had his life on pause for four or five years because of this calamity. That's going to be a bad talk with her. And uh, that might be a deal breaker, I guess, for her if she uh, doesn't like it. makes way too good money to be in the situation she is but everyone's got their excuses and their reasons and stuff and me included me included I've wasted so much fucking money I could have probably paid off my, my loan a, a year earlier if I just sat on my ass didn't date didn't go out didn't do anything for four years I could have paid that off that five year loan I could have paid it off in four Food for thought.